There is not going to be anything here. Park now with two different Jeeps, a Raptor, and a couple of utility vehicles. No, nope. nothing, nothing, nothing. But this whole section got moved. It's like a God. Really? Don't make me. Come on, man. Are you assholes really going to make me cover this? <sighs> what fresh hell? And there's a bunch of them. This is some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Dumb. Completely moved the completely moved the section and kept all of the problems. Amazing. But at least now I don't have to go to two different aisles to look at Lego. God. It's in the bags. Ah. Hovercraft, just built that one recently. Minis, and I'm telling you, minis, I'm sleeping on the Shang-Chi Dragon. People come buy them up. Anyway, flipping nothing, as I know. And then they're changing, God, they're changing everything up. Of course, no Baku. Lots of wrestling, of course, poop. find anything. Beyblade. You've got... Oh, look at this. Come on, people. Put you back so someone can find you. So, okay, so they've split their terrible stock Bakugan into two separate places. That makes no false sense. We do have the Genesis collection though. That's kind of cool. Um, it's good to see that, that they're stocking that new product from the series.
agate, huh? Cool. There's like the whole wave is here, I think. Yeah. Skinny little dude in a gigantic build a piece. Crazy. All right. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want to listen to some limp biscuit. That needs to change. <laughs> they shifted everything around. They moved the aisles apart. They created more space everywhere on the floor, except between the pegs. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Because you've been good, we will kick the red ball. We will kick the red ball and we will see. There it is. Kick the red ball. Thanks for the noisy cart, citizen. Yes, it's noisy cart time. I'm here at Target again. Looking for Gundam. Not really seeing too much though. Well. So, kicking the red ball did nothing. Let's go kick the wall. Mark. Yeah. I'm the I'm the one who's here. Okay, let's go. Uh disappointment already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just show you the change in times we're living in. Easy Riders is down on the bottom shelf where kids can get their hands on it. I mean, but really, who's got time for chicks on back at choppers anymore? Right? So uh, one of the things I picked up the other day when I was at Radar, actually, not what was picked up, but what Jonah slid into my hand because Jonah knows that I'll take it home and check it out if it's weird. Um, this is a new series uh, featuring this uh, character, Moon Girl, which I had no idea about. So I went ahead and picked it up and 
Here's what I would like to point out after reading this first um, episode here, the first first issue. Um, I had lamented at one point that comics were getting far too real, far too graphic and gritty and gory and using a heavy language and everything else and that you couldn't get good old traditional Marvel characters in a sort of a family type book that you could share with your kids that would also still feel like a very cool adventure um, that's not talking down or pandering to them in any way. Um, I think that this uh, book really fits that bill very well. Um, what it is, um, is that Moon Girl here, that's just her nickname. She doesn't have any powers from the moon or anything. She's got um, a genius level IQ at the age of nine. That's her superpower. And because of that, um, also she develops a way to communicate with Devil Dinosaur. Now, this is not Devil Dinosaur. This is another um, dinosaur uh, mutant named Beastie, whom she uh, is trying to figure out how to stabilize his uh, genetic composition so that he stops shifting in size. Um, but the story gets into um, they're trying to hunt down where Devil Dinosaur has gone off to. Now, I know when you're saying to yourself, what the hell is Devil Dinosaur? Okay, it's a very fringe character from the 1970s uh, comic books of Marvel. And um, they have uh, chosen to bring it back with this, this new character. What I love about this, what I really love about this, is that the artwork is very today. The comedy is very real. But none of this sort of talks down to the, the, the fan in a, in a kid. Or, in, in this case, you know, a 55-year-old man. Um, they do uh, go to Wakanda. She gets involved with Shuri. Um, yes, there are several, you know, female uh, characters that are in getting involved with this other female lead character of Moon Girl, but it never feels like something that is uh, forced. I, I spoke a little bit about... Um, Supergirl as a, as a television series when I opened Martian Manhunter. And I said that that series was um, so heavily skewed towards a female viewership that uh, it, it could be alienating to some of the male viewers. Um, but anyway, the next issue of this, issue two, is Moon Girl and the X-Men instead of the Avengers. And she runs into several Avengers in this comic. Um, and sort of at the end, it's there's sort of a handoff, if you will, uh, from the Avengers over to the X-Men universe series. Um, it's really, it's really cool. It's really cute. It's very quirky. And um, it's got my imagination. So I'm going to see where it rides out. Uh, anyway, I just, I kind of wanted to tell you about this because this is a very weird sort of semi-obscure book to me. Um, and uh, I thought I might want to point you, uh, point you in this direction if you're looking for something really brand new to, to read with by yourself, read with your family. This one is actually off the rack family friendly. All right, Rusty. That's what our pegs look like right now. This is encouraging. 
Hmm. Maybe that means there's product inbound sometime, somewhere, but not today, obviously. But it could be soon. We'll see. Some, some draggies. Yep. Oh well. Found in the uh, in the garbage aisle. Let's look for more. Oh, hey man, what's up? Do, do, do. But this is why they call it toy hunting, cause you gotta look around. Oldberg, Oldberg. You, you gotta poke through all the aisles now, man. People hide shit everywhere. Hmm. Ultra Magnus, huh? And it's ultra expensive too. But this is how I found Andre. It's like he was looking shelves, looking behind shit. You'd be amazed the way you find like ultra Magnus here. He's probably been hidden for quite a while. Yeah, I got an idea. Let's put him back where he belongs. <laughs> or do a price scan on him. I wonder. 